Special shout out to my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond and supporting the channel. They are Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Ricky Mway, Charlene Kelly, I Am Beast, Madlow, Yumi, Killer Bunny 264, Jasper Nice, MD74ZA, The Hellraiser, Kono76, Pietri, Bilalco, Aussie Posse, Jellybeams, UK's Reaper, Krabian, Surreal, Furious Rams, Nathan V, Audiogasms, and Anokian. Thank you so much for your support. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Rebirth Mod. We are going to be facing the Day 70 Horde. Also guys, I figured out why the Zombies were Feral. It was set to on now, put it to off. Everything else is already that we have higher Horde Knight Plus are on. We have it on the highest difficulty. We have it on Turbo. Feral Sense is just overkill. So I turned the Rebirth Feral Sense off because that's way worse than just normal re uh, Feral Sense. And Headshot only on. Uh, we are on Warrior Difficulty, Nightmare Speed, 64 Blood Moon Spawn. Now I'm hoping we get in. Okay, so far so good. Um, yeah, I just finished recording the previous two episodes. And I did the intro, say let's go, click continue, and then all of a sudden I got a console drop down full of red errors. So I had to completely close down the game just now. Oh guys, in 821, I am not going to go for Survivor again. I think I'm going to try and just normal de uh, default rebirth, because you can have NPCs during Horde Night. In Survivor mode, the one I'm playing right now, you cannot have NPCs, they run away. So you have to face them on your own, and with headshot only, it makes it so much harder. Um, I was able to make some TNT. Um, I destroyed the stairs in the garage. And then also, yeah, we're on, we're on the clothing, sto uh, shores, clothing store's roof right now. But yeah, um, guys, as I was actually taking out the floor for the gas station, I was attacked by a wraith. And it seems now, every time they throw one of those purple balls, it definitely spawns in a skeleton knight. So we have to be so careful during all that now, because we always get bombarded by those dudes. So you can you can really bet on us having some uh, dudes on the roof right now. We are technically kind of safe on the roof until those wraiths vomit at us. And then, yeah, we have a bad guy spawning on the roof. I'm going to put this off. Uh, weather fog zero. Okay. And then also, dexterity reach level 9. Intellect is like 21.9% away from level 10. And then we have just to go for a constitution and charisma. Charisma needs to be level 8 for us to be able to go and grab another NPC. Um, this one over here. At the moment, we can have three active at a time. Yeah, I also need to see if I can't kill these guys fast. Ooh, Seekers. I actually wanted to disable the Seekers, but I uh, I keep forgetting. And sometimes the, the Seekers explode so much you can't see a thing, but... Nice thing is sometimes there's just so many seekers that the shaking actually ends after a while. The shaking adds difficulty, but as, especially since we are playing headshot only, it makes it almost like impossible. See these dudes over here. 10,000 HP, 10,000 HP. So basically they're the max mutations. I want to see where they try and get in over here now. Uh, we do have a jump over here we can make to the bookstore over there. And then after the bookstore, we can go to the top of there. I'm hoping I didn't miss some kind of... Oh crap. Okay, now it's gonna create. Okay, no. Cool, 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 cool. I thought it's gonna make a soldier just now, but it didn't. We need a damage per second weapon right now. I'm gonna attack me. Please attack me. It has to attack me. Actually, like, do damage for the uh, shield to go away. A lot of people say they've actually never seen a wraith before in their gameplays, but I have these dudes all the time. Damn, his shield's back up. Okay, I need to make sure we dodge the Wraith. Also make sure he doesn't spawn in a, a soldier behind us. Okay, he just spawned in a dude behind us. I could have sworn I just had a sound of a, of a soldier. Skeleton soldier. Okay, we'd have to see where these zombies try and get through because they are making it inside the building. And I know there is a way to make it up here to me, but I just can't remember how. We'll see how they path and where we can go from there. Basically, our biggest threat at the moment should only be the vultures and the wraiths. And guys, I want to make a horde base for the next horde as soon as possible. It seems these don't really do that much damage. I hit a skeleton warrior with this and I did a ton of damage. But some of these NPCs and um, especially these Thikas have so much HP, it just doesn't do damage to them. Look at this. Ooh, I need to be careful, that almost exploded in my face. It's a waste to try and kill them right now. Okay, where? We have to see where they're doing damage over here. There's fire underneath. Um, wherever they do damage over here, that's where we have to focus on shooting. Because I know on the inside there is a second level, so they can actually get to there. As soon as they're on that second level, they'll be able to break into the roof over here. 
I just can't for the life of me remember exactly where that is. We have quite a bit of ammo on us. If this shotgun could shoot further, I'd actually use it just to shoot, 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 shoot the whole time. I could make a hole here to... Oh, hello. Look at the fire down there. We are actually going to lose a few of here now. I didn't want to kill any zombies up here because we have to, you know, we're going to have to come loot this after this. I wanted to make sure that we don't have to worry about the uh, body bags and stuff. Look at all those zombies. If only I had like an OP uh, damage per second gun, but we're saving up all our 762s and stuff for the next Horde Knight. This Magnum is insanely OP. Even from a distance, it does quite a bit of damage. I just have to make sure I'm actually hitting the zombies. Okay, it seems I was confusing the two clothing stores because this one doesn't seem to actually have um, that second floor. Otherwise, they would have made it up here with me already. I, hear, I just heard a bag drop. I should actually try and make it so they can break the uh, side of these walls down. Because the more of these doors are missing, or walls are missing, the easier we'll be able to get a loot in the morning. Let's go through a hole here on the side, and then we don't have to worry about killing all the zombies inside. We have one headshot kill, nice. I wonder what we did a headshot to. We have nine kills and one headshot. Although the nine kills are probably from the vultures. <laughs> we haven't killed a single zombie yet. So even the headshot must have been from like a vulture or something. Oh no, one seeker is super low. If I can... Okay, we're gonna try this. Okay, this is a headshot only, so I wonder if even these have to do like damage to the headshot. Although, like I said, I did a I killed a skeleton warrior just before the Horde Knight, and he died basically from the fire. But that's definitely killing something down there. The heal so fast though, we have to be really careful. The nice way to do this is just to throw a ton of explosives down there. Hopefully the crops don't explode them. And then we do this. And that's way more damage. Because we've only killed nine, that's unfortunate. I need to give it a pop from the side, they can do quite a bit of damage. Oh, oh yeah, it's not far at all. I was about to say, we're gonna get so many, um... Oh, hello, Grudge. I was about to say, we're gonna get so many lab techs and uh, spiders, but it doesn't count at night. I just really can't pull in your... Oh, we do have the mercenaries, I need to remember this. In the morning when we try and kill all these zombies, mercenaries. Mercenaries, mercenaries, mercenaries. Dude, these don't really do damage, I'm just wasting them as much as possible right now. Did we just get another vulture? Or was that a cop? This POI is um, holding way better than I thought it would. We might even be able to do the day 77 over here. All I'd need to do... Why are you just standing over there? All I'd need to do is make sure we get a quest to reset this POI. I even uh, get, uh, got the uh, gas station over there in the bookstore ready. And at this stage, it doesn't seem like we're going to need it. Although, it's, it's still too soon to say. Oh! I just realized some zombies are shock ex uh, explosion uh, immune. Shock, fire, and explosion. I don't know if it's a seeker as well. I want to put this weapon away. Still only killed nine zombies, I mean, that's not good. See, this shotgun unfortunately doesn't have that much range. If it had more range... Oops. If it had more range, we can just shoot from the roof of here. Also, as you guys can see, we have way more uh, first aid bandages. Wait, how do I have 12? I bought one from... Uh, I think... No, I bought four from Jen. And then I made five. But how do we have 12? But yeah, guys, um, uh, yeah, we're able to make first aid, uh, first aid kits now, and I just, I didn't notice that. Now that I know, it's gonna be way easier. I need to get closer to them. But with all the fire over here, the moment I get closer, I'm gonna take some damage. I can shoot into the crowd, especially the seeker, that I can do body shots with them. But the zombies have to be headshots. I'm hoping that these get the HP or the, uh, the, yeah, the HP low enough. I want to make sure this place also doesn't cave in. Because every time something caves in, you lose all the loot bags underneath. 
Look at these guys. Okay, wait. I wonder if I can. I'm not sure how much damage I'm actually doing right now. I think this was a normal pump shock and I'd be able to do more range. But until we're over here, we already killed the 10th zombie or whatever. Uh, there's a vulture there somewhere. You be careful because even vulture vomit can. Who is getting in? Even vulture vomit can and will um, set you alight. Oh, they're so nicely on top of each other over there. We'll just do this. Creep into the crowd and hope to kill a few seekers. You don't really get that much XP from Horde Knights anyways. I think it's uh, been lowered to like 10% or 20% or something. You're supposed to get all your XP by just by clearing them off your eyes. I have to be careful not to throw one of these grenades and then have a pop bomb to my face. I'm trying to see if I can't, especially when they're bundled like that, do some headshot now. But it seems yeah, most- oh crap. Oh, most zombies are uh, explosion immune. Explosion immune, fire immune, shock immune. That was unfortunate. And the zombies from the space just spawned in. Oh, I picked up all the- oh no, I picked up the, the walkways. I'm gonna have to use the bookstore now just because I accidentally picked up the, the way I got onto this one. Oh, wait, we can actually just get up in the, over here, right? Oh, it was over here, it was over here. Oh, I think this is the old one, though. Ooh, boy, oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> okay, that was dumb. So that started caving in just now. And it feels so slow. Guys, I can be so glad I didn't break anything or I didn't throw the explosive in my face just now. It is said to kill everyone. So my own explosive could have actually just killed me. At least this isn't a pipe. If this was a pipe bomb, uh, you'd have to throw it before the timer runs out. With the pipe bomb, the, the string actually gets shorter and shorter and shorter. And if it gets short enough, it explodes in your hand. Okay, so what I could do now, wait for raids and stuff, just do this. Oh, I could put it... I'm hoping I can put it in such a way that I can actually see the zombies downstairs. If I can just shoot over here, the problem is a cop. Oh, no, no, come on, you're so low. It's not you, it's your friend. Your friend's HP was so low just now, if I could just shoot him. See, these are close enough with a shotgun. The Magnum is powerful, but I don't want to really want to uh, use a Magnum until morning. Especially since the Magnum is... Um, Silence. Depressed. It just takes one cop to vomit underneath me and then I'm screwed. It's a shame that it doesn't also do entity damage, the Seeker's explosions. It only does uh, block damage. If it did entity damage as well, they could actually kill their friends around them. Although then the thing that sucks is that as soon as it gets too close to you, that explosion can kill you. Come on, come on, come on, they're healing faster than I'm killing it. That's a problem. If I can just set the cops off, make the cops explode on their friends. Man, it's making a deep put of the... Uh... I should probably see if I can't move the zombies around a bit. Make a hole of the year or something. Um... This is just slightly- we have the barrel extender, but it's still not long enough. Cube extender can give us three more shots, but I need something that can actually do some serious range damage. Also, for those of you wondering, the holes being, uh, being pulled over there, that's not from the Seekers. That's from cops exploding. Cop vomits and cops exploding and stuff. The Seekers only do damage to player blocks and like wall blocks and stuff. Dirt, clay, stone, all that stuff safe from Seeker explosions. I wonder if I can put my turret in such a way... Will it shoot down there or not? Oh, it does! If I'm not mistaken, the, the turret actually goes for headshots. Although, I don't think the turret has to do headshots. It's only me that has to do headshots. So if I have the turret in my hands, then I have to do headshots with it. I 
be careful of Wraith and stuff, picking us off from the sides. If I could lure this Horde Knight to my base in the morning, I'd definitely get my NPCs to come with me. They might be able to help me kill some. Now I wonder, any zombies that survive from the Horde Knight, say Lab Tech survive the Horde Knight, after 4am, if I kill them, do they count towards a global achievement? It's only during the times of Horde Knight that they don't count. If that's the case, we might actually be able to um, get some uh, uh, spider and lab kills. So I really need to aim down the sights of here. It seems I'm spreading the damage out too much. I've killed 14 zombies. Most of them vultures though. <laughs> At least the Seekers, like I said, we don't have to do headshots, but it does help. Always headshots do do more damage. No matter what you're killing, you're shooting. Nice, just kill the 14th one. See, they're digging underneath. I think that's all the thing, they're digging underneath. So the crop vomit goes some inside somewhere, and then the zombies start falling in that somewhere, and they start doing some serious damage. Nice. I'm hoping these guys drop body bags. If I stand over here, will that force the turret to shoot over here? Seems like it. Are you out of ammo? Oh, I was out of range just now. That's unfortunate. I need the turret to keep shooting. The nice thing about this gun is we can just shoot from the hip. It's a shame we don't have more than seven shots in this gun. I wonder if there's a magnum with like 10 shots. Okay, I thought we'd have to use like three different POIs, but so far we've only been using this one and it's working. If only this was normal reverse, I would have been able to kill so many more zombies right now. I should also probably bring some Molotovs with just in case they aren't ascended to fire. Because we have level 4 ascension I think, so they can be shock or fire resistant. But it's a very low chance. The natural selection just makes them give them more HP and regen and stuff. And that's a little bit, just that little bit's not enough. Okay, almost morning. Then we have to go kill all these zombies down below. I wonder if mercenary kills count towards your kills. I doubt it though. Man, headshot only is difficult. On the one hand, I should just run away in the morning. We don't have to kill these zombies. But the XP uh, right now, we need to level up as much as possible. Almost 4 a.m. I should actually start running towards my base. If I can lure most of these zombies towards my base, we can actually get the NPCs to help us. Although if the NPCs die, we have a problem. Scaling in. Okay, we have to go? Towards my base, right? I wonder if I shouldn't try and lure them just down the straight line. Let's just keep running straight. Okay, I need to fall down without breaking a leg right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, that and a coffee. We do the trick. We shouldn't run out of stamina right now, and we should also not run out of speed. Speedy Gonzalez. Okay, come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You guys can do it. I believe in you. Oh, look at us. They're all still feral. There's very few that's not feral right now. Okay, what we can do, we can face them as is, but I think I should actually uh, call in my mercs. We should probably call in our mercs right now. Hello, motorcycle. Oh, repairable motorcycle. Um, insert. They're going to die really, really fast because none of them have guns. Oh, this boss is fast. I don't have a motorcycle. I have to run over here because my motorcycle is out of fuel. 
I need to do the headshot only, but it's really tough. And the dudes are running like this. I wonder if they can end up killing their own friends. Feels like it. Obviously, we're going to get so many screamers right now, but I want to see if I can't get all of these dudes in one spot. The mercs are still alive. Still alive. Are you kidding me? How much damage can they take? Oh, it's a shame we don't have any explosives left now. I could put my turret down. Oh, radiation. Oh, damn it. The thing is, I need to lure them all away. Oh, no, no. Oh, grudgy, grudgy, grudgy. Oh, those cops are doing some damage. Oh, this corpsman, dude. I was, I, I was trying to see if you can shoot him anyway, or if you have to shoot him in a certain place. All these bosses being there is actually scary as well. Okay, I'm gonna go for my base now. I'm gonna get my NPCs. See if they can help or not. I doubt they can. I think some of these zombies are gonna get stuck inside the trader because that door's open. I don't realize I'm gonna have to do this fast. Crap. Please don't destroy my base. Please don't destroy my base. Please don't destroy my base. If they die, they die, but at least they're going to be able to help me out of the situation. Oh, that's out of ammo. Nice turret. Nice job. This turret's actually working. I can't believe it. The turret actually worked just now. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I think I actually have some fuel in my vehicle now because I, uh, because I was making some. I wonder if the Seekers, please tell me the Seekers and stuff didn't despawn just now. Only 750, we need some more uh, oil shale. What did you just shoot? The random zombie. Aww. Oh, there's definitely going to be Screamers because there's too much fire. And I have no idea where this fire came from just now. How? I must have been a cop or something vomiting. Damn, I wanted to kill all those seekers. Ah, oh, crap. There's another one, a third one. I have to get rid of these screamers so we can just deal with oh, these guys. Come on, shoot this dude, shoot this dude, shoot this dude. Yes, there you go. I'm not even wearing my healing glasses right now, which is dumb. Ah, I need more ammo. I'm make sure they don't accidentally call screamers in right now. I don't mind fighting normal zombies like these, but the screamers can call more and more and more. That screamer just now called a boss zombie. A leader. Okay, please, 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 please tell me there's some loot bags over here. After all that just now. The problem is there will be some zombies, yep, spawning in. At least my NPCs can, oh, my, my dudes can go and wake them up. 
thought this dude in front of me is just a zombie. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Now the sleepers are waking up. Oh, that's a warthog. They are dangerous. The warthogs don't give up on you. You have to be really, really careful with them. Ooh, she's still alive. She's still alive. Kill the warthog, please. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, this is just a grudge. Nice. I say just a grudge, but look how fast they are. I need to move faster. I need red tea. I need coffee. My dudes are gonna die right now. I'm gonna leave these bags before the loot, uh, the bags despawn. And the more I shoot right now, the more chance of actually getting screamers. Ah! Oh, I haven't looted that yet. Nice. Reload, reload, reload. We need coffee. Da, 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 da. We need coffee and to heal. Yeah, out of ammo. Let's just turn this around. This gun makes noise, but it's powerful. Has to be headshots. It sucks that the smaller ones are faster than the big one. Is my NPC? Oh, they died! All my NPCs died, are you kidding me? Oh crap. I didn't even realize Waylon and the other dude died. I need to get them in a straight line and it's easier to kill them. There's resources over here. How did I not see this sooner? I'm actually surprised the one didn't fall down after seeing so many hits. There's definitely going to be screamers showing up over here. I want to loot those loot bags, but they're all going to despawn. I have no idea how long the loot bag timer is though. I can just make sure to take these lackeys out and the boss isn't that difficult. Damn, Jean. Aim. Yes. At least that doesn't seem like she's healing, but I need to be careful because there might be a mutation. If there's a natural selection mutation, we have a problem. See, the nice thing is, even if they are a headshot only, you can knock them down. I thought I was going to be able to trick her again. We got stuck in a really dumb block just now. Ooh, radiated explosive. She is healing herself. It's a shame she counts as a zombie, you have to do headshot only. Or at least it's the headshot only that I've only that's the only thing I've seen do damage. Ooh, please don't kill me right now. Ooh, you are fast. Bloody hell, she's fast. No, 
I was almost able, if, if I just figured out how the how she turned just now, I would have been able to kill her. But I couldn't figure out how she st stood just now. Nice. Woo. Seems when the boss gets mad, he starts running. Yeah, be careful, his lackeys might be speed booster, speed mutated. See, these silos behind me, that's what I would have actually been able to use for all night as well. You can actually go from one to one to one to one. As long as the zombies can't make it to the very top, you can use, uh, use each um, silo to be able to hold all the zombies. There's a zombie behind me just now. Just drink this for some speed. Woo! Wonder how many zombies the boss zombie can actually spawn in. Every time he uh, screams like that, he spawns more. Oh! I don't have time for this right now. I wanted to loot those bags. And we just had the, um... But we can't uh, call the mercenaries again. Okay, I wonder if I shouldn't just heal myself and then run through here. Let's see if I can loot the bags while just running through. There will be more zombies chasing me because, yeah, look at that. Woo! I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I need more bags. There should be more bags in there. Oh, you're still from the grudge event. How are you still alive? If this is a normal grudge. The zombie grudge boss lady is way more powerful. I just got some kind of weapon. Uh, we should be able to kill most of the zombies. We just have to be very, very careful. I just cured must No, we're still infected. We're still uh, radiated. Uh, toxic. Oh, there was a bag next to me just now. Okay, we're gonna have to be careful. That event is still on the other side, so we need to try and clear that out. I, I think most of the bags, unfortunately, has uh, have despawned right now. It's unfortunate. They were there should have been way more bags than that. There's a ton of them that died, not from me, but just from the seekers exploding. I heard way more bags drop than what we just got. That's also why I don't want the roof caving in on a place because then uh, sometimes it lands on the bags. And you can't see the loot. As if I'd miss a bag right now, then yeah, just... I miss it. <laughs> oh, I hate it when spiders do that. For some reason, when a spider tries to hit me... I mean, they are spiders, they're supposed to crawl. But it still sucks. Just as he was uh, just about to expend some stamina and hit the dude, he goes down on all fours. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Ah! Come on, headshot. When you shoot, all the bloody shots miss. I need to go kill that boss, because uh, the boss still has some uh, loot on it. I want to see if we can't max out our uh, intellect if we haven't done so already. It seems I have to wait just before they hit me, but I can't afford to do that every time. But wait every time just before they hit me, we're going to take so much damage. Doesn't seem like there's any more bags down here, unfortunately. I have to kill spiders anyway, so this is good. Please, more spiders, more spiders. Ooh, that was actually that actually worked just now. Oh, 
Okay, come on, more spiders. I think most of you guys know, but they should be toxic, right? They didn't seem toxic just now. That's what makes me concerned. That's what concerns. You know what makes me concerned? Concerned. Oh, you're a screamer. If there's a screamer, I'm just gonna run away. Whoopsie. Don't crouch, don't crouch, don't crouch. Yeah, unfortunately, we lost all our bags just now. Oh! You were on my ass. I need to drink another red drink to be able to kill him, I think. What I should probably do is make sure I drop these guys. They're gonna get his attention so that he doesn't just come for me. And while he's standing still, he struggles to hit them because they're too low. They keep him stun locked, basically. The vulture on the way. Oh crap. I even see there's a vulture on the way. Me, there's a vulture on the way. Also me, just stands there and takes it. Oopsie. Come on, try to take its attention. Oopsie daisy. See, a boss can do some serious damage if you accidentally let it hit you. Okay, our intellect should be maxed out now. Oh, like two more books. One or two more books and we're done. Okay, I'm just going to go back to the base and I have to drop all my stuff off. Ooh, um, unfortunately, but, uh, all three our NPCs died, so we're going to have to buy them back. We do have only 2,000 cash, so we can only buy one of them back if we're lucky. Unfortunately, there weren't any more body bags. I, I was really hoping for some more bags. I even had that at the ready in case we had to jump over to the next door. But you guys, unfortunately, there's no more bags left. Uh, at least we survived. Barely, but we survived. Now we know if we really need to, we can just get a quest. I think this is a tier 4 or 5. Let's get a quest to reset this POI and we can do it ag uh, again. Only like a quarter of this place caved in and that's really, really, really great. They can keep our losses or destruction in the vicinity to a minimum. Yeah, if you guys liked this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments, tips, and feedback, leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. Okay, that's a few more books. Uh, for more of this content, see you guys next time for some more uh, Rebirth Insanity. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.